Wait, 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 wait. It'd be more beneficial for BLM to address the issue of black-on-black crime than they are with police officers. But they're not doing that. Hey, 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 hey,
the, so the, the, the public square, the whole point of the public square is freedom of speech. You can go out there and just say whatever it is you want to say. Yeah. And you can lie to the people, right? You can lie as much as you want. And if you're lying to them, it's up to the individual to believe what you're saying and just walk away from you like, I don't want to hear what you're saying. I would like to see them sued as well, but what does that do to the little guy? Like uh, the smaller publishers, you know, that, that are trying what? to build a platform and all of a sudden now they are liable and they can get sued when they are just trying to uh, to grow what? a if, platform. If, they would, if you're blocking someone from saying something, then that's on them. If you're blocking someone's content, now, mind you, if the content has anything to do with children, oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's just a no-brainer. If it has right, something right. to do with no the violence stuff. and stuff like that, it's common sense stuff, yeah. right? But because someone says something that you disagree with, then it's on them. Yeah. The smaller companies want this. Because the smaller companies are willing to allow people to say what they want to say. And there's a few of them. One is called Orbis.net. Oh, yeah. They're okay. based out of Florida. There's another one called Spreely. There's another one. There's a few other ones out there. You know, I mean, you've heard of Gab. Of course. You know, and yep. they demonize Gab. But yeah. Gab strongly goes on freedom of speech. You can say whatever it is you want. Yeah. And they demonize Gab for that very reason. Because yeah. they were allowing people to speak freely say what they want to say. Yeah. And they're going after the other ones too. Parler, another example. Oh. They went after Parler because people were able to say their peace of mind. And they weren't complying with the left. I, can't, it's, it's I just can't believe that. Yeah. I can't believe Amazon got away with... Well, it wasn't even just yeah. Amazon. It was a third party that went to Amazon saying, hey, do you have the Parler... Uh, are you serving, hosting Parler on your servers? Amazon... We should have never released that information when say, oh yeah, we are open. Can you shut them down for us? Oh, absolutely, we'll do it. Does that not sound... I mean, just me saying that, right? There's, yeah, there's it's major scary. problems with it's, that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, wow. All right, well, next year, things will be at a different place. They'll be improved at a whole other level, but we don't know how yet. But I hope they will be improved. That's, that's what so. I'm... Uh, I'm hoping that people will get ideas here on how to improve things, on how to uh, take things to a, a higher level. Well, the problem I have with a lot of Republicans here is that they're, they've allowed the Democrats to get away with To walk all over them. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm still sticking with this. I believe the GOP made backdoor deals with the, with the Democrats to get their party back. Because they were always saying that the party is Trump's party. And they, they did these backdoor deals saying, help us get rid of Trump and we'll make sure that you get your party back. They're going to be done here in two years now as well. The Democrats are doing policies, are trying to do legislation to where when the election happens, that they can still count votes 10 days later. So if they need the votes, they'll wait until they get it. And then once they get in that time period, then they can say it's done. So then that way, and on top of that, they're doing legislation yeah. to get rid of the Electoral College. And of course, that goes against the U.S. Constitution, but they don't care. They've already demonstrated that the U.S. Constitution means nothing. They did it this past election when they went around the legislators in these different states. We're in a world of hurt right now. Some people still don't re realize exactly what's happening. The devious strategy. Now, the election integrity guys, I want to go listen to them. The uh, Matt Brainer, mm -hmm. uh, Look Ahead America, I believe. I want to go see what they're up to because uh, I think that they are forward thinkers and that they can, you know, maybe they can come up with a plan. I know they're looking for people to, to lead efforts in all of the states. So and that's the level we need to get at. But hey, this has been great. Will Johnson. Will Johnson, thank you very much. Thank Super you. fun interview. All right. <laughs> thank you.